I'd like to thank God for the privilege to do this podcast, that I might glorify His name for what He has done in my life and what He wants to do in every person that walks the face of this earth's life today. My prayers come out of Ephesians, the first chapter and the 15th verse. It says, Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I have not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope he has given to those he called, his holy people, who are his rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in heavenly realms. Now he is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. And the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ who fills all things everywhere with himself. Ephesians 3.14 says, when I, look, when I think of all this... I fall to my knees, and I pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your heart as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And you may have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. Amen. That is my earnest prayer for every person, including myself, that walks the face of this earth, that we would have spiritual insight and wisdom and our eyes would be open to, oh God, how much he loves us. Oh, how much our Heavenly Father loves us and cares for us and wants to see us succeed. Now, let's see what God's Word has to say today. Father, I praise you and I thank you, God, for your Word. I glorify your name and I thank you for all that you're doing in this podcast and the people that's listened to these podcasts live. I thank you, God, that you're saving people and, and setting their feet on a solid rock. And that is your word, the truth in your word and the truth from what we can, we hear from your word is the truth above all opinion. Glory to your name. Holy Spirit, guide my mouth, guide my mind, use me that that I might glorify the Father in everything I, that is said and done in this podcast and in my life. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. I'm going to be tra- taking my scriptures today out of John, the eighth chapter. And th- the 31st verse, starting with the 31st verse, it, it says, Then Je- said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If you continue in my word, then you are my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. I'm going to read that in the New Living Translation. It says, you, Jesus said to the people who believed on him, You are truly my disciples if you remain faithful to my teachings, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. I, I, I've come to a conclusion in my life. You know, I was born again in my early 20s, and it wasn't until just a few years ago that I began to understand that I had become 
a disciple of Christ. And when was that? When I started abiding and and looking to God's word for every for every aspect of my life, for pouring myself into his word and pouring his word into me and and allowing him to guide me and direct me. And I found out the more of God's word that I put into myself and read and studied and and listened to over and over and over again, the more that all that garbage that had been pulled up and 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 stacked up over the years in my life began to f- fade away began to melt away and was and was I was where I was supposed to be in life finally finally after 25 years of being away from him it thrills me to know that It thrills me to know that. I'm going to tell you something. Satan stole 25 years of my life through religion and just doubt and fear and and, and just basically uh, unbelief of God's Word, biblical ignorance of God's Word. And, And, you know, the Bible says when you catch a thief, he has to pay you back seven times what he has stolen. Well, I can't believe for seven times the years that he stole from me because that far surpasses the the promised allotted time that he had promised Abraham, and that was 120 years. But what I can believe for is seven times the people that I would have had an influence over and would have been able to to help and strengthen through God's Word over those 25 years, I can believe for seven times the people that God would have used me through. And, and I proclaim that the thief has to turn loose of those people in Jesus' name, that they would hear God's Word and know God's Word and know that it's the truth above all opinion. I'm going to tell you something today. The, the Word of God will set you free like you've never been free before. I, I go to the jail a lot of times, but and a lot twice a week when they'll allow us in. And I go into four different pods uh, once a week, two on one day, two on the next day. But I find people that... that that are in there, incarcerated, are far more free in their spiritual walk as a lot of people I know out in the world that's never been in jail before. Why? Because those inmates have no nothing but time on their, in, under, in, in jail. And they have nothing to, no time to do no, anything but to study and to reflect on what God's Word says about them. I see people getting strong. And you say, well, that's just jailhouse religion. They ain't got nothing else to do. Well, I'm, I'm a firm believer in what God said. My, God, my word does not return unto me void. And it will accomplish that which I've set it for to accomplish. So I believe that God's word, when we put God's word into people and we invest God's word into people, it grows. And it profits God. It profits the kingdom of God. Because people come to understand and to know that it's the truth. And when you know the truth and when you find out the truth, you are made free through that truth. I'm here to tell you today, believe what God says about you. Believe what God's word says for you. Stand on that. Stand on what he wants to do in your life. Believe that. And I'll tell you a little story yesterday. And it's, it's just talking about being led by the Spirit. Now, I'm, I, listen to me. And, and that I've, I've said it over and over and over. It's not a big booming thunder or a storm or wind or, or anything like that. It's that still, small voice. Sunday, I, was, I, I, I just had an inkling on the inside of me. I needed to go to a certain place and go through this area and there there really wasn't any damage there wasn't any hell there real close 
I chase hell for a living. And uh, I'm believing to go into the ministry full time. But as of today, I'm still doing a secular job. So you just pray that the Lord opens doors and and gives me open doors to preach and and to to do, to to uh, do His ministry, not my ministry, but His ministry uh, full time. But anyway, I had just a feeling that I was this is what I was supposed to do Monday morning, yesterday morning. And uh, this is pre-recorded. You'll figure that out. But uh, so I got up that morning, yesterday morning, got up and left. And my mind running, you know, I was trying to get things done. And and somehow, you know, I got it all changed. And before you know it, I'm, I, I didn't even go there. I went below there and went down and was, was headed towards Mississippi. And something on the inside of me said, you need to go. You need to back up. You need to go back up through there and go back through there. Wasn't even supposed to go to Mississippi. Wasn't. I found out after I, I had, I turned around twice. I bet I drove 30 or 40 miles down the road, turned around, come back, turned around, went back, started back down the road again. And and I just kept getting that inkling, you need to go and do what you thought yesterday. So I ended up going and ended up getting a shop, best shop in town. And there's no damage right there now, but they had a problem with the company that was in there before. And uh, it was just the Lord had the door open, but I had to listen. I had to listen to what the Holy Spirit was telling me. And he's not going to scream at you to get you to listen. It's that still, small voice. And I'm satisfied that there's people all over this world that, that ignore that still, small voice. I'm here to tell you, and I'm not screaming and hollering. I'm here to tell you that if you get in God's Word... And you will, you will make it first and foremost in your life. God will speak to you. And He will show you what He wants you to do in your life. Where you're going in your life. What He wants for you to do in your life. But it is up to us to do it. I could have went on and ended up in Texas yesterday. Or ended up in Texas today. Instead, I done what I was supposed to do, and 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 I I'm I'm certain that I done what I was supposed to do because it all worked out. And and when I got home last night, I told my wife, I said, you know, that just goes to show me that if I will listen, I will listen. God will make a way. And 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 that's that's it in a nutshell. I want you to understand that. Listen to what God's Word has to say. Let the Holy Spirit guide you from the inside, not in your mind, but in your inner man. And and when you'll allow that to happen, and when you put enough of God's Word in you, and you get enough of God's Word in you that, that He can deal with you over things, then you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. And you can be free wherever you're at. If you're in the jail, if wherever you're at, you can be freer than most people in this world. Why? Because you will know the truth. The truth will set you free. And what is that truth? It's God's Word. God's Word will set you free. The 31st chapter said you are, or the 31st verse of John 8 says, you are truly my disciples when you remain faithful to my teachings, to his word, to his word. I'm going to read one scripture. I'm going to leave one scripture with you, or one series of scriptures. It's Joshua 1, starting with the 6th verse. And I'm going to read it in the, in the King James Version. Because it's it's just true. I mean, it is true. From from top to bottom, it is true. 
It says, Be strong in the Lord, be strong and of good courage, for unto this people shall about divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto your fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and be thou courageous, and that, that thou mayest do according to all the law Moses of which Moses thy servant commanded thee. Turn not from it from the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate on it day and night, that thou mayest observe and do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Don't let God's word, that's an Old Testament term, the law, that's all they had back then, but I, I tend to look at it as God's word as a whole. Don't ever let God's word get away from you. Always put, keep it first and foremost on your mind and allow God to lead you and guide you and direct you and watch him. Watch him change your life forever. Oh, glory to his name. I always on my podcast want to give somebody who's listening to this podcast, want to give them an opportunity to be born again. You know, Romans 10 and 9 said, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. It says, For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's all it takes to be born again. Confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior with your mouth. And believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead to justify you in the eyes of a holy and a righteous God. That was a perfect sacrifice that was given for all of us. Why? For our salvation. For our assurance that we could live forever in God's kingdom with him. With him. Glory to his name. Allow Jesus Christ to be Lord of your life. Give him your heart and life and, 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 and put his word in you. Study, read, listen, listen to God's word because then you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. If you're listening to this podcast, go to our website. Get in touch with us. We want to hear from you. It's the-prodigalson.com. We want to hear what God is doing in your life. I want to know that, that God is, uh, what, what God is doing to change your life. You know, there's people all over this world that, that, that God's Word is miraculously, miraculously get, getting into them and changing their lives, their hearts. Their, 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 their hearts being changed. How? Through the truth of God's word, you shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Glory to his name. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com.